And if you can find one, you can buy that music computer for £299. Yamaha tell us that there are very few left in the country, but they will be marketing a new but more expensive version in a couple of months' time. Now, much cheaper is this device here at £60. It's an add-on for the Commodore 64 called the Anirog Voice Master. And it lets you hum tunes into your micro and then it reproduces the tune in a variety of instrumental voices and displays the musical notation on the screen. In fact, it does everything except teach you to sing, unfortunately, as you'll hear right now. Here we go. Da 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 That's enough of that, Fred. Oh, sorry, it's very... No, stop, that's it. I'll just play that back for you so you can hear how sensitive it is. It doesn't sound at all like happy birthday. The problem is that it doesn't hear the, those notes in context of a song. It just hears the notes and tries to assess the nearest one. It's got a very good edit facility, but I think in the case of this, there's only one thing to do with it. Stop. No. 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 Thank you. I'm going to speed it up. That'll help. <laughs> Well, Neil Point, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Next week is the last programme in the present series, as music lovers will be glad to hear. We'll be looking at a new flight simulator game that's been designed to run on two home computers linked together. We'll be comparing the speeds of some of the latest micros, and we'll have a report on a British success story. Yes, there is one, the new transputer chip from Inmos. But until then, thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>